Welcome to Thornley Parish Council's Autumn Update. Summer came and summer went, and before we knew it, it was back to school and the nights drawing in. Since we last got together, we've been asked to shout about what we've been up to at County Hall Durham. We've made progress with the Welfare Sports Ground. Councillor and Parish Chair Joyce Unsworth has seen her hard work and the hard work of the Parish Council recognised. We've scared ourselves silly and, most importantly, we've all come together to commemorate the centenary of the Great War Armistice and Thornley's contribution during the First World War. When it comes to taking care of Thornley and providing what we all need, it can get a little confusing. Parish and County Council all play a role along with central government. It is important that they all work together and obviously you've got central government that will look after issues from defence, from uh, the NHS, education, set the kind of strategy for the whole of the country. Then you've county councils that look after the issues within the boundaries of the locality. But, you know, people forget about parish councils and they are really important because it's actually just a group of people who get together, volunteers, they have their finger on the pulse of the local community and they're the best of the parish councils work together for the benefit of the local community and Thornley is just a, a glowing example of that. Thornley glows so brightly in fact that other parish and town councils have been watching us closely. Parish clerk David Moore was asked to screen our summer update at the annual County Durham Association of Local Councils meeting in September. He explained how Thornley is evolving to meet the growing demands on parish councils. We needed to engage with the residents. We needed to keep up with the technology and we had to use social media to do that and to communicate with them. We have to modernise local government. September was also the month that our chair Joyce Unsworth's hard work was rightly recognised and rewarded. I nominated Joyce for the Chairman's Medal, which is an award that Durham County Council gave. Now, it's a very select medal. Not, not everybody who apply, who's nominated gets one because it's, it's basically for people who give a lot of time to the community over the years, have done something special for the community, um, and have gone really well over and above what you would expect from a volunteer. It was clearly, to me, uh, an award that was due. And it was a great, great pleasure to meet, to meet with Joyce. Typically, she, and as is the case with many people, she's modest. I asked her to tell me why she should be given this, and they're rather mischievously asking that question. But, uh, and she gave me a few reasons, but I said, well, you've missed out so many things here, you know? Joyce Unsworth just sort of, she's here, there, and she's everywhere as far, far as Thornley's concerned. And every time I come to Thornley, Joyce seems to be there doing something. And uh, she's, like I said, for parish councils, just to have someone who cares and who's prepared to go that extra mile on a voluntary basis, doesn't get paid for it, just wants to get involved because she loves the local community, she loves Thornley, she loves the people here, and she wants to do her best for the people. And as far as I'm concerned, that's exactly what she's doing. Over the last few years, with the evolution of the village and the construction of the village centre, Thornley has been able to grow, and we are proud to highlight just some of the organisations that now flourish. For example, Thornley FC. This is our fourth season now. Um, we started off with, um, which, with, well, with what is now the under-16 age group. They were under-12s at the time. Um, I'd coached the kids for four or five years before before what we brought them to Thornley uh, at another club um, because the, there wasn't a club here. Um, and most of the most of the team were, were from Thornley, so I thought, well, let's see if we can uh, we can set something up in Thornley. My name's Tony Young, chief instructor of Shoshan Kai Thornley. 26 year old. <laughs> Some people might not think I am. And we have a, obviously a karate club here in Thornley, non-profit organisation, um, been going since 2014. Football is about fun, but at the same time you also build a skill with how to 
communicate with new friends, meet new people, and the confidence when they do something better. Is that a good pass or good shot or something like that? And you, you could see, I mean, every week in, week out, you could see the improvement there, and I think it's important to develop not only as a player, but also will go far in their life, as I truly believe. It's teaching the respect side of things, how to obviously respect elders, how to look after things, as well as obviously where you live, as well as others. And then there's obviously the physical side of things, fitness-wise keeps you fit. Mental side of things as well, it, it progresses at the moment. And confidence, I was very, very small, very shy when I was young, when I started karate. And my confidence over the years just, just peaked. We see really positive results with, uh, with not just the way that they're behaving around the football pitch, but the kind of the, the people that they're starting to develop into as well and we're seeing that especially with the older ones now there's a, there's a real kind of sense of, of belonging to something. You've got the football, you've got the karate, you've got the tea dance, you've got the Pilates. How many villages have this sort of setup? I think a lot of people take it for granted. These and the many other activities that take place in Thornley are organised by dedicated volunteers. Thornley Parish Council is happy to support them in any way they can. They've helped out massively obviously when they first, when I first approached the idea of starting up a karate club, choice of pointers in the right direction, saying, well look, we can help you out with small grants, i.e. rent, income and stuff like that, till you get on your feet. I think that's the hardest part. They've helped us to develop a little kickers programme. Which is, a, which is a little summer school for five to eight year olds and from that we've, we've, we've added two new teams. You know, Dave and Joyce, any bit of particular thing that I was struggling on financial wise or advertising wise, they would say well, this is the route you can go down, we can help you out in this certain way or speak to, you know, such as Jude, as, the, as now, you know, Durham County Councillor, she can help in this certain way as well. We managed to get an agreement with them for, to be able to use the welfare park in the village which was great um, to be able to actually not only represent the village but be able to play our home fixtures here as well was really important and they actually sponsored our away kit in our first season which was just a massive boost you know so that was it was really good. Years ago it used to be used for uh, by the miners for sports days and events and this used to be the hub of the village here um, because we had what you call the welfare centre which was, which was just just in the field next to this. Um, near the main street. So they were the hub of the village, the welfare centre in this area. The welfare park, part of Thornley's rich history and an incredible asset to the community today, suffered a devastating incident in October last year. It was uh, subject to an arson attack just over a year ago. And it was, it, was, it was heartbreaking at the time because I remember that it was the under-13s team at the time were actually playing at home on the Saturday morning um, and they arrived at the ground as they do for a normal home game to see the thing on fire. Because the doors were closed, it just smouldered all night so it, um, it took the, the beams away inside and the floorboards as well and really a lot of damage to the building. Kids have got nowhere to get changed. There's no toilet facilities at the ground at the moment and we had a little kind of coffee shop, tuck shop that we used to run on match days. The area isn't secure where, so anybody can get in because obviously the, the fence around the whole area is just wooden, it's never really been replaced. Um, we do what we can as a parish council to fill the gaps in, but as soon as we fill in, uh, they just pull back out again by vandals. And yet again, the parish council support us all the time and uh, hopefully we have uh, good news uh, next year or so. What we're looking to uh, seek now is to have the old area fenced off with more secure fencing. We're really excited about it. The, the parish council have been brilliant and, uh, and, our, and the local councillor as well have been fantastic. They've really supported us in, in, in going out and seeking funding um, to, 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 to have a new fence put round um, the ground. The latest news is that Thornley Parish Council has secured funding from Durham County Council, meaning the Parish Council has now applied for further funding from the Football Foundation. While they await the news and the new facilities, Thornley FC continues to go from strength to strength. You keep believing yourself, you keep believing your teammate, the result will take care of itself. Put a little bit of graph and you see the outcome. 
and so far it's positive. And for me, just to see the smile on the face. And then sometimes it's nice when they say, Eddie, you know what? When I'm a little bit older, I want to be a coach because you just teach me how to play football. That's me. That's my job done. The end of October witnessed a spectacular transformation of the village centre and witches, monsters and terrors of all kinds descended to make mischief and fun during our annual Halloween party. ago this autumn, the guns were finally silenced on the Western Front. He came from Thornley. He came from the world marked this momentous centenary, and Thornley was no different. Residents of all ages came together in a series of events and ceremonies, culminating in the Remembrance Service on the 11th of November. You just need to look at the war memorials when you go around these former Kauri villages. You know, and the, the, the cenotaphs will have dozen, if not hundreds of names on them. And these are communities that a hundred years ago were a lot smaller than they are today. So uh, I did a bit of research on, on this about four years ago. And when you look at the number of people, men and families that were affected and lost their lives, Every household had some story about the war. And it's, it was a, a cathartic moment for, for those local communities. And it's something that we shouldn't forget because ultimately there was a great sacrifice made so that we could enjoy the privileges that we have today. And we should never forget that and we should always remember it. Winter will soon be with us, and Thornley Parish Council has been working closely with Durham County Council, planning the best way to keep roads and paths clear in the event of more heavy snow and bad weather. Just one of the many things that go on behind the scenes to keep the village working for everyone. Thornley Parish Council is proud to be an essential cog in the community wheel to help get things done. With Christmas just around the corner, we'll be back soon with a sparkly festive update. <laughs> <laughs>